Hello and welcome everybody. We are back at MLE Sports GG2 presented by APM Music. I'm the real Mobags and I am joined today by Foof. How you doing today, man? I'm doing great. I hope you are. It's always a pleasure to be joined by not the false Mobags, but the real Mobags, man. I'm excited. We got some twos actions coming towards us. Yeah, we got some twos actions. We have the Bulls and the Spectre both coming from the Champion League. Um, this should be a slight little uh, a little bump in the action, I think. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Never mind. We are slightly lower uh, in the skill level, but all of the same Rocket League action that you have come to know and enjoy uh, from MLE will be put on display here today. Um, We've got some good teams. We are early in the season, so it's really, I think, anyone's game. It's kind of make your mark on the season, get it started off on the right foot. And I think the Bulls need a little bit of an extra boost uh, in this here series. Well, yeah, coming in, it's going to be hard for them. They got to get it rolling early, I think. The Spectre squad, same. it's kind of that same spot. We got one and one on one side, 0 oh and two on the other. So neither of these teams exactly where they want to be, but not really in a bad spot. Like you said, it's week two, ton of games ahead, and an important game to be played here. So all that matters is you come out and you put your best foot forward and you get this good tape and you find a way to get better as the season rolls on. But that being said, both of these teams want to hop out really good here. Yeah, you definitely want to start off uh, quick and strong. Winning the first game is very, very important, especially when you're trying to build momentum in a series. You're trying to get those three games for the win. You're maybe even trying to get a few more to uh, sort of pack, pack the uh, pack the stats and Bad get stats. yourself. Yeah, get yourself looking good for the uh, the remainder of the season, making sure that you're covering all the tie breaks and all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna jump into it right now. These players are on the field and ready to go. On the field and ready to go. We have five minutes on the clock and a kickoff already going towards the bull. Hyper with a chance here. Near post opportunity. Maxim Ernai not able to get there. Six seconds in Bobags. I can't even get the rosters on the pitch and already a goal. Yeah, blink and you miss it. The Bulls put one in. Like you said, six seconds off of the clock. Not a lot of time gone by and already the Bulls are trying to take command of this game. Charging ahead, really just headlong into the net there. Coder now on top of his octane. Got to beat Jordan here on the 50 and does. Maximum Ernine now sitting back, giving up that near post play again. Jordan has the backflip here. Chaser not able to put it on. The Bulls, a lot of pressure here. Only 20 seconds in. The Spectre trying to find something of their own. Ball bouncing in the half here. Maximum Ernine has a pass. Looking for Jordan near post. A good 50 from Chaser. Chaser has to get back on this quickly. The Spectre is just able to get back in time. I was wondering if Ernine could get there. Ends up doing it in the end. Yeah, and it looks like we're getting a little bit of nerves coming from both teams now. We've seen a couple misses. We've seen a couple of mispositioned plays, I would say, so far, especially on the side of the Spectre. Uh, and as you see another one go by there, maybe these teams uh, a little bit jumpy in the beginning, starting to sort of mellow out a bit, but still we're seeing some missed touches, some misplays. Hopefully that will get sorted out as we go on. Well, it's usually that first game jitters. You already said it, you know, both these teams settling in, getting a feel for each other, and... You know, some people have like a have a handshake on different teams. They're going to try and fill each other out for about a minute and a minute and a half. The Bulls, they didn't have that. They put a goal in at six seconds in. So now, instead of being able to fill each other out, the Spectre have to press a lot harder than they probably want to. As Hypercoder now, one-on-one, Ernine in a very difficult spot here. A lot of that to defend, but that Dominus is just big enough to turn that one away. Yeah, that is a great save coming from Maximum uh, Air 9. That is just a great low boost save. You really need those ones as we go down the stretch. I was about to say he's going to have to do it again, but the ball didn't fall for him. Dominus in hand, ball in hand, boost in hand, has it all in the sidewall now, but Chaser back past it. Hypercoder, Hypercoder 50 hard there. Jordan trying to catch up to this ball here. The Spectre need a counterattack, but Chaser now going the other way. Ball arcing, but Air 9 able to put this one back. Hypercoder throwing it across the pitch, trying to find it off the backboard, but the only card he'll find is that Spectre Dominus up once again. Yeah, and if some of these long clears were on target, I think we would have a much uh, more out of control uh, scoreline, rather. 1-0, I think the Spectre are lucky to be at that margin right now. Lucky indeed, but the Spectre are trying to knock around, passing plays, trying to spread it out, find each other. Now Jordan and Ernine have a chance. Ball, Hypercoder though, playing patiently, putting it back in the quarter and giving Chaser some time to get back. And big time save of Chaser coming back in the right place at the right time, denies that equalizer. 
Yeah, Bulls moving a little bit quicker here. They almost gave up a goal there, but like you said, Chaser makes a great save. Hopefully the Spectre here can get something going. That's a flick pass one. This is a 2v1 opportunity. Chaser going to be very slow to get back here, but Ernie, or Er9 rather, taking his time <laughs> to get this one going. Hypercode are going to take it right off the car and start some Bulls attack as we move on here. Well, Jordan throwing it off the backboard. It's a dangerous touch. You don't want to send it that far off the backboard because your teammate's now in a 1v2, but Chaser makes it 1v1, 1v none. Bulls are up two. Bulls up two, and really what happened here is that is just not hitting the proper part of the car there. Missed time dodge maybe into the ball. Uh, maximum Ernine just not getting any part of uh, a productive touch on that ball with his car hitting with the wheels getting a flip reset not realizing it and then flipping away from the play that's going to give up a goal nine times out of ten uh, especially in champion league hey but the flip reset was cool right it was <laughs> That's all that matters in the end of the days. Fashion points, but no points to be had here for the Spectre. Shut out right now as Hypercoder trying to press it near post. Maximum now in his own corner, trying to get some control here. A little bit far away from him, but a good 50 keeps it to Jordan. Now the Spectre have a two-on-one play. If they can speed it up, Jordan up. 50 hard by Hypercoder. Chaser trying to throw it all the way across the pitch, but can't get the touch. Max now with a chance here, throwing it near post. Jordan stopped by Hypercoder. Errant touch there by the Spectres. They had a chance, but could not get it to hit. Yeah, we just need to see a little bit more accuracy coming from the, uh, the Spectre. If they're getting these shots on target, they're going to be looking really good. And there's yet another one that goes wide of the goal. The Spectre need to start putting shots on target if they want to make these Bulls sweat. Well, right now, the Bulls have just absorbed all of this pressure. The ball gets flipped now. Jordan sprinting back to their goal. A nice touch there, but it's still there. The save is one thing. The clear is another. Chaser gets a second goal for their name. Yeah, it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really matter if you keep it out if you're not going to be able to follow up and get a touch on there. You saw Jordan just so awkward on that side post there, not able to get uh, back in front of the goal, and that's going to give up another one. Bulls running away with this one. One minute left, still the door open for the Spectre here. They just need to get something going, and it has to be right now. This could be something here. Ernie up, soft touch. Er nine up. Excuse me, I forgot the end, and he forgot to put it in. Got beat by Hypercode there at the end. Chaser now. Now trying to find a counterattack, just controlling this pitch. They're up three. They don't want to allow anything. Now Max faking for Jordan. No, they both roll off. The Spectre miscom there. Leave the ball. Chaser 50s it away. 30 seconds left. Right now the Bulls still in firm control with the ball bouncing around. Water falling down. Own goal. Spectre have a chance on just a strange play. Yeah, strange play there, just misreading this off the ceiling. Those touches, or rather those bounces, up in sort of the top corner of that goal mouth, or rather the ceiling. Very awkward to read, and you saw there Hypercoder unable to find the read. Going to put that one in his own net, helping the Spectre out. The Spectres still have work to do. There's only 20 seconds left. It is do or die right now. Well, usually I want to see a goal put in and to make it within one with 20 seconds left. But right now, 10 seconds is the mark. The Spectre have a chance. Ernine able to put it in. And you know what? Expectations be darned. Goal leads be darned. Mobags, they are only down one with eight seconds left. Yeah, you're telling me that there is a chance. Eight seconds on the clock. Can the Spectre get this one in? We saw a goal go in six seconds into the match. They've got two more seconds added onto that. That's a good kickoff in their favor. But it's up to Ernine here to flip the pitch. He's going to chop it up once with that Dominus Hypercoder, though, up in time, trying to control it, just trying to make it awkward here for Ernine to catch. The pinch attempt coming off the wall, but not enough, not able to find his Spectre teammate. It falls to the ground, and the Bulls take game number one. Yeah, and looking back at that, the Bulls take this game. They looked like they were in a commanding sort of position in it, but one own goal sort of really opened the door and left it open for the Spectre to take this game or rather uh, get it into overtime, tie us up. Uh, that didn't happen this time, but definitely I would look out for this second game. The Spectre, if they adjust properly, they're going to be moving a lot faster. They're going to get a lot more shots on goal um, in the early portions of the game. At the end, there they were putting definitely a lot of shots on but i think that was more of just them sort of fully unloading everything that they had well it was just kind of saying losing by one and losing by two are the same thing i, I like to see that from a team especially early, early in a series because you know that they are going to press they're not going to be okay with losing a game here they tried to fight back and that was a feverish comeback attempt in the last 20 seconds so the specter technically have momentum a pair of goals to end the game just not able to close it out so the bulls 
they were in control of the game until the end, but now they need to be careful because if they overlook this squad coming into game two, they could lose control of the series here. Yeah, they could lose. They could lose control of the series, and on both sides of the pitch, we had mistakes that weren't capitalized on. There were a lot of whiffs. There were a lot of missed touches. There were a lot of sort of errant passes or errant shots or just balls not going where they need to be. Um, both teams could take advantage of that, and we could see a much more uh, high-scoring game. Or uh, one team could sort of lock down those mistakes and really take full advantage of the other team's mistakes and really just take complete control of the game shut out their opponent unforced errors that is always the name of the game mobags and now an unforced error here for hypercoder he's got to get back able to get it out the epic save coming through you know what it wasn't a mistake just farming mvpr there but the bulls breathe a sigh of relief they were the they were the uh advocates of the early goal last time and they were almost the recipient of it this time jordan with a missed touch there hypercoder one on none jordan trying to run back that lambo is just long enough ernine denying it two quick opportunities for both sides but we're at a nil nil game yeah, we almost had a little bit of a case of deja vu. It is not to be had, though. Uh, no one scoring early in this one so far. 30 seconds off the board. Still kind of early, but six seconds is a lot shorter than 30. It is, it is. But now Jordan missed touch there. The ball is running around for Hyper Coder. Both players of the Spectre still in their net. Jordan crossing the pitch and getting the ball, but Chaser still puts it back on the Spectre now, just kind of running on their back wall, trying to get some control. Ernine, soft touch here underneath the dominance. These beautiful pass, arcing out, but to no one, the Bulls are the only ones there, just corralling it in. Jordan, soft touch here, had an open shot there, but both players from the Bulls ready to reply. Ball there for Ernine, a quick touch, puts it between the two defenders. 1-0 for the Spectre. Yeah, that was a risky shot to take there. I don't think that ball was in a great position. Jordan was going to be slow back, but Maximum Ernine takes advantage of the sort of space that he had, puts it in between the two defenders, and puts the Spectre up in this match. Just a perfect chance, and that is a confidence play, Mobags. And that's how I feel about it is you know it's a dangerous play, but you don't have to play defense if you score. And Jordan doing that exactly right now. Open that easy country, and he throws it in. The Spectre up two in game two. Yeah, Jordan putting himself on the board, had an assist on that last one, and now gets a goal of his own. That's just a good, quick touch, realizing he had time to put that over the Bulls defender and just gave himself the freest goal that we're going to probably see all night. Just a little chip in as Jordan now has to catch it off the kickoff. A missed touch there. The Spectres now 1v2. That's a near post shot. Jordan, though, able to ride the wall, get off the post and make a save. Hypercoder trying to force it back around. But Chaser all the way at midfield. Trust his teammate. But Maximum Ernine able to dig that one out. The Spectre standing tall when it matters. They're protecting a two-goal lead, protecting this game number two right now. Wow, those were two incredible saves that we just saw. Maybe we'll see another one. No, Chaser going to put an end to the Spectres' run of two goals, putting one in for the Bulls and cutting the lead in half. I got to say, that was nice bait and switch. They've been hitting far post, far post, far post, far post all the time, and even Chaser comes from far post, but then puts the ball back on the near post side, able to sneak it past that last defender. The Spectre giving up one, but the Bulls take it, and now they're back within one. Yeah, back within one, and they look a little bit mad, I would say. They're getting some shots on goal. They're getting some demos going for the demo attempts. That is what you like to see, especially when you're oh. down. Hypercoder just wide of the frame there. Not going to be able to put that one in, but they are still on attack. He's still getting touches on this ball, but it's not going to be to his teammate. Those are the ones that I love to see but hate to watch. The pacing was perfect. The idea was great. And Hypercoder going to finish it anyway before I can finish my statement. Beautiful. Saw the space. Takes advantage of it and ties this game up at two. What a ridiculous carry using all of the boosts in the tank. Putting it in the only place that it could possibly find its way into the net. Tying us up. And man, oh man, we've got ourselves a game halfway through. About to say, we're back at where we began at only 2.30 in almost, but now Jordan tries to find a way on. Technically, it might be threatening, but Hypercoder very patient here. Now Maxim Ernan getting the demo, trying to stall this Bulls attack, but Jordan has to be careful here, giving up a lot of space to Chaser. Chaser playing it slow. Jordan throws it back. Hypercoder now open net, puts it in. The Bulls just collect on an unforced error. Yeah, and I like the idea from Jordan there to get that big clear. Those are unexpected if you can get them, but just not enough control there off the ceiling from Jordan, unable to find a touch and is going to give up a wide open net to the Bulls, who now find themselves in the lead once again. I will say this, both of these teams are too dang good to give open net opportunities. 
Hypercoder now trying to stay on it. Hear that Octane flying in the air. Backflip here. No, he's not going to flip into it. Just going to pass it to Chaser. Chaser, the soft touch, rolling down, but can't find it to go in. Bulls turned away, not by the defense, but by the posts. Yeah, not quite enough finesse on that shot from Chaser to put it in. Nearly found its way in. Not quite this time. Bulls still holding on to a lead. Uh, although there's two minutes left, and that is a dangerous ball to go for. Hypercoder going to find it, though. And now the Spectre look to start their attack once again, but it is going to be thwarted by these Bulls who are just not wanting to give up any shots on goal. Well, this is where the Spectre, I don't want to say like to be, but they're comfortable. They were down last game, Mobags. They knew how to come back and look at them trying again. Jordan trying to get the demo, but Hypercoder too high. Able to get back in time and get an epic save. 75 points there. Now the Bulls, two on one opportunity, but the pass, it goes off the side of the car. That means Chaser has to adjust. He can't get there to it in time. Bulls can't find a way. Ernine and company sitting back on the back line. Hypercoder passing around, but a good stall from Ernine. The Spectre finally gets some breathing room. Yeah, a little bit of breathing room, but you see the shot disparity really starting to stack up in favor of the Bulls. The Spectre have to get back to the attacking that we saw in the first two minutes. We haven't really seen much from them since then, and man, they need it now more than ever. That was a big time whiff from both players there. It was a 1v1 for who could take the shot on the open net, but neither team hit. Now it's up to Chaser here, throwing it wide left, just controlling it here. Ernine, one to beat, can't beat one here, but he's going to get control. No, he's going to get bullied for his trouble. Rule one on that wall, so now it's Jordan versus Chaser. The chance to take this game and force an OT maybe, but Chaser with a big time save. One on one, Chaser running it around, gonna take the demo and break the rule one, and then add some <laughs> insult to injury and extend the lead by one. Yeah, the net was open, but just for good measure, demos his opponent, frees his teammate, and then puts it in. I think that might be a play of the week. That was <laughs> kind of sick. <laughs> he literally went down the checklist, got the ball out of our end, check, free my teammate, check, goal, check, bulls up by two. Oh, a great shot, no way that goes in. Maximum Ernine able to fall it, just the sniper chip, just got the old nine iron out, pops it up over the green and it falls right in behind the last defender. Yeah, I'm trying to gather my thoughts from the last goal, and just before you know it, another one gets put on. The Spectre cut this lead to one. They are in a very similar position to the last game. Hopefully a little bit different for them uh, coming through here. they got a little bit more time to get another goal. I would say they have more than single digits of time to work with, though, here. Mo is now the ball's bouncing around. Jordan trying to find the shot. He's actually going to pass to Ernine here, but a good 50 from Chaser denies it. Now the Bulls have nothing but green grass in front of them. It goes in. Chaser takes the lead and extends it by one once again. The Spectre, they keep knocking, but the Bulls keep counterpunching. Yeah, the Bulls just aren't wanting to give up this two-goal lead. They're going to keep punching and punching. The goal disparity is just widening. The gap keeps getting bigger and bigger, and the Bulls are just putting up numbers that the Spectre can't keep up with right now. Well, it's punch, counterpunch, and usually that's a sign for good things if you're a defensive team, but unfortunately the Bulls had a lead, so they have room to give up punch, counterpunch. Up by two, two seconds left, and the Bulls are going to walk away with game number two in their back pocket. Jordan can't get there in time. Bulls take game two in a pretty reasonable fashion, but once again, it is not out of match by any point in state. Yeah, they're definitely not out of this by any stretch of the imagination. They have everything to play for now they're on match point uh for this series we'll play all five games because we are mle but if they want to take the series they really need to evaluate what they've been doing i think they are still they got a little bit too comfortable i think with that lead they really sat back and let the bulls just pile on just gain momentum throughout the second half of that match or rather that game and they really just need to keep taking it to the bulls if they want to to come out with a game win here they need a game win they need three in a row now to take the series it's going to be awfully tough for them but i think that they can do it it's just a matter of getting a little bit quicker on that ball well mo bags you know the important thing that a friend of mine once told me you cannot reverse sweep without losing the first two games so maybe that's what they're trying <laughs> to set up here it's going to be important for them to get that momentum back and the thing is that technically they've lost by one in ot they lost by two here they kept it close. They can do the right things. They can strike when they need to, and they can, um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that map is supposed to be on the rotation. Uh, anyway, um... <laughs>
Bulls inspector. You guys don't see it. Listen, we saw we're sitting here loading in. Both of our streams change, and we see pillars pop up. Just as, that would be a fun way to continue the stream here. But no, we're gonna get back into it shortly. But hey, maybe this is the unofficial timeout that the specter needed because they have found ways to get down. But they yeah, have. They've... To... Go ahead. Oh, so, sorry. You're sorry. right. You're right. I think... I think what they need to do now, I'm sure that they've got teammates watching. They just need them to tell them, hey, guys, you can definitely take the bulls. You can do this. You just have to move a little bit quicker. Move with purpose. Touch the ball with purpose. Get it down the field. Don't let the bulls uh, take it to you uh, for three minutes straight. They have to build offense. They have to build attacks, and they're not going to do that sitting back and waiting for the bulls to do something. Well, I think it's just going to be who can dictate the pressure, who can dictate the pacing. Can they find that way to put it together? I, I think they can. I just want to see them do it when they're not down a goal or down a pair of goals, Mobags. Yeah, exactly. Like they were able to put together a string of attacks, um, but they're already down. They need to be doing this when they have a lead. They had a lead in that game, two goals. And it's just a matter of keeping the pressure up. They have to have to do that. So uh, when you're in a series like this, what is what is your mentality of trying to keep pressure up? Do you look for midfield traps? Do you try and take boost more? Because twos is a lot different than threes. It's really dangerous to try and overcommit because threes, you have that free safety standing behind you. You know you got a teammate. Twos, if you commit too far, that is two cars facing your net with nothing in between it. Yeah, in twos, my sort of mentality, and this is coming from a champ one, so t take that for what you will. I really not a fan of the passes. The pass, if if it is coming to me, has to be perfect. And if it's not, I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to wait for my teammate to back out, and then and then I will go for a challenge. Try to keep that pressure at the midfield line, but. You can only do so much in twos, and like you said, you don't have that third man behind you to back you up. You really, you're really, you the second man, you're the third man. You have to take control of that midfield line if you are in twos. So I think that is an important thing we talk about at midfield line, the midfield trap, just controlling the pace. I think an important thing for them is to do that, but then find a way to keep the ball out of their own end because we've seen both these teams take long streaks in their opponent's end, and then that counter play happens, and then a goal is arises either from over minutes in that transition play or just a mistouch off the backboard. Like you said, if the pass isn't perfect, you need to be careful, especially in twos, because that just leaves so much space for your opponents. Yeah, you don't want to give up space, but at the same time, it's the double-edged sword of not giving up space but not over-committing. And if you're over-committing and your teammate isn't on his way back or back already, um, you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt. So hopefully these teams can kind of figure out that balance as we go forward. Spectre definitely need to do it. Bulls are looking pretty good right now. They can just keep doing what they've been doing, and the Spectre have to do something about it. Hey, they had the timeout. This is something you rarely get, especially in MLE. So had the chance to take the breeze, just kind of chill, serve a reset. And so find a way to get a goal early. They did a good job last time of knocking them on a kickoff goal. But now coming back is Hypercoder, and that's going to be the way in. And if you're the Spectres, you don't want to start the way. But that, for the Bulls, is how they draw it up. Yeah, and the Bulls topping their performance in game one. That's four, four. seconds off the clock this time. <laughs> That is a new record for them in this series. Uh, not a good look here for the Spectre. Finding themselves down, but they play better down anyways. But that is two goals down now. Another kickoff goal, Mo. and now a second goal with six seconds off the clock, man. Mo, that first one was four. They took two off of that one. That one was two. Six total. <laughs> right? They can't keep yeah, yeah. cutting this in half. There's no way that works, right? There's not going to be a zero-second goal unless someone scores at the end of the game. But the Bulls hop out early. They're going to hop out further if Hypercoder has anything to say about it. No! A mistouch on the Octane. Now the Spectre collecting their thoughts, collecting the ball, collecting their boost. Very thankful to have another chance here. A big demo. Jordan trying to beat Hypercoder, but the fake is too big. Chaser, one to beat, but Max able to deny it. A big-time save there keeps the lead at two. Yeah, that would have been another goal there from the Bulls if Chaser just takes a little bit more time there. His teammate was streaking in for that demo or the bump, and that would have been another goal here for the Bulls. Spectre lucky to get out without being scored on there.
Lucky indeed, but now they're trying to find some luck of their own. The bump. Max, though, doesn't want to force here. He's got Coder all over the ball. Now bouncing back, the Spectre need to find a way to get it off of their end and find some consistent pressure. A nice air dribble attempt here. Got that Dominus in the air, but not a lot of boost. You need to be careful here as the ball bounces back. A chance. Jordan looking far post, but Hyper denies it a big time save. The Bulls counterattack here, but not enough of a touch on that Octane. Yeah, maybe this is a good sign here for the Spectre. They're not going to get out of the half just yet, but they are looking good. They're getting some shots on goal. This is what we need to see from them if they're going to take this game. Jordan to pass, looking for Max. Max 50 hard there. The Bulls bending but not breaking. Early aggression has paid off for them. A quick double turn there by the Spectre, but it's okay. That's fine. He's got to beat Chasey here, but a big 50 from the Bulls just denies that. The Spectre back once again. Max trying to flip the field, putting it off the side wall here, waiting for it. His hypercoder doesn't get the touch. Chaser. Um, all right. Tactical whiffing coming out from both squads. The ball sitting here on the Bulls' side of near post pass. Jordan. In control here, but kind of like doesn't know what he wants to do with it. He didn't expect that ball to come back to him as aggressively as it did. Now it's up to Jordan to beat Hypercoder here. Yeah, that ball just not quite under control enough there for Jordan to get something going for it. They're still looking pretty good. They've got some boost advantage, but the Bulls are just relentless on this four check, uh, if you will. They are just not letting the Spectre get anything going. I don't think they've registered a shot on target in the last minute or so despite having some pressure on the side the bulls just aren't allowing anything to happen uh productive they're doing a good job of just closing out any and all opportunities but this is a big opportunity that he can't get back to max unable to find that near post play that one is going to want you're just going to want that one back jordan saved there by chaser you talk about it didn't give up a single shot but give up a pair there but no goals here for the specter tactical with the fake coming from chaser chaser 50 hard by jordan the ball bouncing up the bulls all the pressure all the time all the goals but it's not going to get turned away max able to get a touch here and the specter survive once again yeah, and the Spectre are getting a lot of time on these counterattacks. It's just a matter of getting some good touches. It, it's all good and fine to beat one player, but you've got to beat the second one. And ooh, Chaser nearly beating the Spectre on that one. They are definitely trying to get this one out, but the Bulls are just completely in control right now, just getting all of the good opportunities oh, as we see another one fall in front of the net, but Hypercoder deciding to back off on this one, giving Jordan some more time. That's a good flick, a good demo, one to beat. Are they gonna be able to do it? No. Chaser gonna clear this one out once again and thwart the Spectre attack. The Spectre unable to find anything fruition right now. The ball bouncing in, you gotta be kidding me. Chaser just finds a way to extend the lead. The Bulls up by three. Yeah, and that's a shot that we saw Chaser miss earlier in the game, but this time putting the perfect amount of finesse on that past one, past two, and into the goal. That is a great shot. Bulls up three here. Up three here, and they're up two in the series. They're trying to be up three in the series here, Mobags. Ball bouncing around. Hypercoder on the sidewall trying to find some control using that Octane beautifully, but pushes it down into the waiting arms of that Lambo. Ball bouncing behind Chaser. you got to be careful. Now he's running at midfield, just trying to find some control. The ball bouncing high. Jordan has the ball sitting on top of that long car. Tries to get the flick a little late on the fall, but it can't go. Hypercoder and the Bulls turn it away. Yeah, not enough boost there from Jordan. That flick was not good enough to get past. Here's a flick from Maximum. Dominus OP. This is a good Dominus chance. OP. That's a great shot. Oh, the backflip flick into the goal, and that is going to cut the lead to two here for the Spectre. Max doing maximum effort there. The backflip from the Dominus to put the bicycle in. A beautiful touch there. Able to beat one. Like you said, you have to beat one, but then you have to also beat a second. He does, and that puts the Spectre back within two. Yeah, Spectre within two here. They're down once again, waning minutes of the match. They have to get this going. And this is looking decent for him. That's going to be a shot on target, but the save could come in. And it does. Hyper Coder going to stop that one. Spectre still on attack. Still on attack. They are. Max won that big 50 here. Chaser running back towards his own net. Jordan, though, that's a little bit disjointed from the Spectre, but it might not matter. No, they're still backing off. A chance their near post turned away. The Bulls surviving right now with a two goal lead. Jordan on the side wall trying to find a pass off the ceiling. It's going to bounce back down, though. Hypercoder waiting patiently, and 10 seconds remain between the Bulls getting a 3 0 lead. Yeah, and the Spectre are just way too passive right now. You have to be on full attack the whole time now. Uh, they're just not in that mindset, and this is going to 
well, almost go in, but not find its way in. Oh. And now we are on the ground. Bulls take game three. They take the series. We still have two games left. The Spectre can still get some game wins on their side, but man oh man it is just the same thing that we have seen for the last three games they are just very very passive not quick enough on these balls and if they could just be a little bit faster this would be a, a much much different series just a hair right well the thing is that the specter have done a good job of trying to slow the game down they didn't allow a ton of goals early they gave up that that um quick chance goal in the beginning and then immediately kick off again and kickoff goals happen i mean if you play one you know that so it's just trying to find a way to bounce back and they were able to get back within one but chaser hypercoder eight saves they denied eight of the ten shots the other one went in and the other one went off a post that is an incredible defensive performance on the bulls yeah, that is a crazy stat line. It's just, it. no matter what the Spectre do really now, it just seems like nothing is going to work. The Bulls were able to sort of uh, just put a lid on every single attack that the Spectre had. Um, a lot of those chances that they had even went without a shot. So the Bulls are just kind of firing on all cylinders. They're scoring. They are saving the ball. They are clearing the ball. They are doing everything right right now. Uh, and the Spectres just need a complete mentality shift if this is going to be um, any games going in their favor in the next two. I just want to compare that Bulls defense right now to some really nice insulation. They're doing the right things. They're keeping the heat in. They're keeping all their players nice and comfy and keeping, the, keeping that terrible cold, the shots, the goals, everything out. The Bulls doing a beautiful job. They're up 3-0 in the series. It's up to the Spectre here to try and find a way back and take two games off of these squad. Yeah, and we'll see if they can do it. They definitely have the talent. They have the ability. It is just a matter of stopping the Bulls, and that is a tall order uh, <laughs> based on anything that we've seen thus far. Chaser a little overzealous here. Jordan near post. Oh, we can't get it to go in. That post denies it. She is a cruel mistress, Mobag. Sometimes she swoons and sometimes she sways. That one, she diverted it. Now Hypercoder, one to beat. Jordan with a big time save there. The Spectre will not bend as easy either. Yeah, that is just heartbreak. I thought that one was surely going in and maybe even off of the double tub touch uh doesn't fall for jordan and that is just unlucky here for the specter they still aren't uh any worse for wears it is still zero zero anyone's ball game but man i bet they wish they had that one back i bet both teams wish they had that one back it was two very good opportunities jordan with a quick turn there i like the move these two long cars now streaking up the field never mind it's only one long car is max the lone specter standing ghostbuster appearance maybe with the demo chaser looking midfield trying to find the pass the pass was good but there was no one there the lone bull stampeding by himself yeah, and the Spectre just don't have the coverage that they need in front of the net. That ball missed wide to the left, but both uh, Spectre players oh. are facing the other direction as we see yet another attack from them get thwarted and no one there to follow up. Max going to be here to make that save, but the Spectre just have to continue to put pressure on if they want to be in this match. Well, the pressure has to be a key somewhere because both of these teams are trading the ball back and forth. They're not holding on to it too, too heavily. Max going underneath. Chaser just being a nuisance right now. The Bulls, a 2-1 opportunity. Hyper go to the soft touch. He got Jordan in the air, takes that octane and tucks it to bed. Yeah, Jordan wanted to get up early for this one. I don't blame him as the Bulls have been really, really deadly. He comes in off the sidewall, but Hypercoder just puts it right below him, sneaks it in, and gives the Bulls a lead once again. Once again, the Bulls are on top. Once again, we're hitting a kickoff here. Chaser getting a nice touch there, throwing it off the backboard, trying to beat Max, but Max with a good clear. Ball bouncing around. Jordan trying to clear it. He's going to push it on the sidewall, but the control here is an answer. Maybe can come through for the Spectre. A demo now is up by Chaser. Chaser trying to just kill some time and get Hypercoder back on the pitch. Hypercoder spawned near post. That's a little bit of a dangerous spot to be, but it put him in the right spot. Chaser able to deny this one. Yeah, and if Max had just a little bit more boost there on the attack, that would have been a fantastic opportunity for the Spectre. He didn't have the boost, but they're still well within their rights to get this game. And oh, Chaser fans on that one. That would have been a very, very fast goal had he made contact on it. Oh, pain. Max went for the bump there. I don't know if you saw it. He couldn't get Chaser out of the way. Chase denies it. Now the Spectre turned away once again. They are knock, knock, knocking on this door as he tries to win the 50. Jordan trying to flip the field. No, Miss Reese, it has to come back. Max throwing it into the corner, trying to throw it out to Jordan. Jordan now picking up the boost. 50 to hard by Hypercoder, but the ball 
once again just finding its way and nestling into one of these green corners. Yeah, and Chaser opting to put that ball directly into, I believe that was Max, instead of the touch over. He had the space to do it, but just took it straight to him, hoping for a lucky bounce. And now the Spectre get a good pinch Double. clear, but both players commit on that play, and now their attack is over. They have to retreat back. They're probably running low oh. on boost, and now every player on the field just <laughs> watching this ball float very graciously into the air <laughs> and now both bulls players on Push. the attack here back pass coming out from chaser as the shot comes from hypercoder it is blocked into the corner double the commit double the fun right mo bags i mean that is what the <laughs> thinking has to be because you know the bulls saw them do it and they're like no 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 we can do it just as well as chaser goes up for it here jordan denies it the specter though still very much in this game only down one and i don't want to curse him here coder going for something off the backboard chaser puts it in i'm so sorry specter yeah, Spectre definitely feeling a little bit sorry there. Hypercoder nearly getting a uh, Pulse-esque goal there. That little double tap off the side while low angle. Not going to find it, though. His buddy Chaser there, though, is there to finish it up and extend the lead for the Bulls here. They are taking a commanding lead, and they are getting commanding pressure here on the Spectre. Just that janitor slot just cleaning up there, Mobags. And now Hypercoder very comfortable with the ball, but now a dangerous spot. Jordan has one to beat the near post play. Not able to find it in the corner, though. Max, a soft touch here. It's dangerous. Hypercoder with a really good 50. The ball bouncing back. The Bulls retreating, trying to run out. Hypercoder one to beat, putting it up high, and that's going to find its way in. Hypercoder getting a pair of goals. Yeah, unfortunate here for Jordan. He had more time than he thought. That ball wasn't on target. He didn't have to get the perfect clear he could have been in position for it but just not gonna happen today the bulls are just too fast too strong and they're running away with this series this is not going to be their fourth game unless a miracle can happen here for the specter hey don't put the specter away they scored two earlier in game one no but that backflip is huge and jordan it gets just uh, there's no way the bulls missed that back to back jordan's gonna take it all the way the specter playing coy playing slow we know they're gonna miss and we're gonna find a way to get back within two yeah, and the Spectre, not ones to shut the door on themselves, are always sort of just within scratching distance of taking this game into overtime. They haven't been able to do it yet. Is this the game? Is game four their time to put this one away? Well, now Hypercoder throws it up, trying to find a touch. Here is Jordan. Jordan bouncing it down. The dangerous ball here for the Spectre. Max has one to beat. Got it over Chaser. Hypercoder sprinting back. Demoed. That goal. Oh, good chance from Jordan, but he can't find it. Now Max running up. No, he's going to sit back, trying to find the 50 at midfield. Hypercoder very, very happy to let this bounce around. The Bulls will survive. Too little, too late. The Spectre cannot finish this game. What a defensive stand there from, I believe that was Hyper Coder. Two on O practically <laughs> gets back on defense, grabs the demo, saves the ball, and prevents the Spectre from scoring. Man, oh man, if that is not just the epitome of this series thus far. The Bulls just so good. I don't understand what is going on. Well, it's just the four C's of defense for me. Hyper Coder was calm collected, calculated, and in control, Mobags, realized the 2v1 was coming up, and then just sits and waits on the goal line and makes that big 50, then runs it out to midfield and makes another 50. Just beautiful showing here, and you said it. This has been the modicum of the series. The Spectre find different ways to try and knock it around, but at every turn, every corner, every street, every alleyway, the Bulls are just there. Yeah, the Bulls are... The Bulls are the Bulls, and the Spectre are the China <laughs> shop right now. It is just complete mayhem on their side of the field. Everything that they try to throw at these Bulls just gets put right back into their face. And man, oh man, they are putting up a valiant effort, but it is just not enough. The Bulls, like you said, just too good. It has legitimately been punch, counterpunch, and finding a way to strike off of that. The Bulls in firm control up four games here, trying to put away the sweep. The broom closet is firmly open, you know. We got the janitor back there ready to hand it off, but it's up to Hypercoder and company to finish this as Jordan wins this solid kickoff for the Spectre. The Bulls rotating back around Chaser here, trying to find a clear. Max not able to get the touch. Jordan can't get the touch. Now Hypercoder turning back. Chaser, one to beat. The last man back is Max, but a good turnaround from the Spectre to deny this one. 
Yeah, good turnaround here from the Spectre. This is a good stand here. That was a really dangerous opportunity. The Bulls definitely, I think, maybe should have scored there. Not going to happen this time. Spectre looking a little bit faster, and I like what I'm seeing from him. This is going to be an Max. open net shot. Max. Far post. Let's go. That is a great shot. Great placement here from Max, and the Spectre find themselves in the lead. Max with the self pass out of the corner and then gets Chaser to overcommit, leave that far post and says, thank you very much. I have this long nosed car. I'm gonna find the back of the net 30 seconds in, Spectre's on top. Yeah, Spectre on top, this is a good look for them. They look very, very fast. They have nothing left to lose at this point. They just are putting it all out on the field and I love to see it. Well, Max now with the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. You like to see these, especially a Dominus player as the ball goes under, just dropping beautifully underneath the crossbar. Max with a pair of goals. Spectre, where has this offensive dominance been? Yeah, and I don't think Chaser was expecting that shot to come so early. Um, I think we've seen Max have sort of opportunities like that and ops to do a low 50 on the goal line. Chaser expecting that, but gets completely bamboozled here by Max, who is just all over the ball now. Man, I wish we would have seen this like you just said in the first four games, but we'll take it in the fifth game if we can get it. Well, good thing is it's still week two. We have a lot more time for Max and company to show some more of their stuff, but Hypercoder trying to find a way for the Bulls to get back in this game five. Chaser throws it up. Hypercoder rotating back around. I like this play from the Bulls. The ball control is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you've seen the movie Dodgeball, right? <laughs> That was like the play where they had the one player in front, he ducks down, and then the other guy comes in, punches that ball through, and gives the goal here for the Spectre. That was, or wait, was that Spectre? No, I'm sorry, no, that was the Bulls. Bulls. That was fantastic <laughs> as we see a, a double touch attempt here from the Bulls. They are getting a full head of steam as they try to get themselves back into this fifth game. Trying to find a way to notch it back up as we approach the three minute mark. The ball bouncing down, Max throwing it here. Now he's got a near post chance, but he's gonna push it way too far out. Chaser, the only car ready for it. This red octane just slowing down, trying to control the pitch. Hypercoder gets 50 by both Spectre players. Chaser in the air, missing it now. Questionable go there. But Jordan going up and missing it means that's equal ways, just handing it off, shaking back. Let's, let's kind of reset this possession here as Max catches it. Hypercoder trying to throw it on, but another pass midfield. Jordan flipping the field, but too far left. The open net turned away. Yeah, and we saw that in actually, oh, uh -oh. no, <laughs> we saw no. that in okay. the first game <laughs> where if some of the clears that we saw from both teams were on target, they would have been in. That is a perfect example of that. If Jordan just puts that on target, that is a goal for the Spectre and they are looking that much better, but remains to be seen. We need to see opportunities taken advantage of uh, really from both teams. The Bulls obviously have taken advantage of a lot of their opportunities, but the Spectre definitely need to be doing that for every chance they get. Jordan now a chance, but he only gives it up to Chaser who flips it back towards the Spectre side. The near post attempt, that Octane was not high enough, pushed the ball just a hair too much. Now the Spectre clear it out. They've got two minutes and 18 seconds to kill, but they're trying to extend it. The near post play, trying to find it is Jordan, but not enough of an angle. Yeah, and then you see Jordan there just bumping out Chaser, hoping for a follow-up for Max Erdine. It didn't come this time. The Spectre still holding on to this lead, but they, I think they need maybe at least one more goal if they want to secure this W. Well, one more goal or just another minute and 54 seconds of playing superb defense. Max throwing it high. Chaser getting a denial there, getting a save for his troubles. But Jordan, the pressure will not stop the Spectre or trying to find any and all ways to just confuse, irritate, and control this Bulls team. The ball still floating in front of the net. Coming back in is Max. He'll set it back up and get the hat trick. Yeah, I don't think Max had a ton of boost there. Uh, no, I am <laughs> looking at the replay. He got that full boost, so just perfectly kind of positioning himself to get a chance. That is exactly what I asked for. That is exactly what we saw. And man, oh man, I wish the Spectre looked this good in the first four games. You, you hear a lot of people sometimes say that a player has taken over a game. That is three goals unassisted on five shots. Max has decided that this is the game that he will show up. Hypercoder and company have not had an answer defensively. They have been on their heels. They have been sitting back just trying to find any way to push it in. There was that one big time goal the Bulls had, but that's a piss touch from Max. Jordan, though, able to bring them out. Yeah, it's no, a really kind of, oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
I'll actually finish my thought because that just adds more strength to it. We only have two players on the field that have recorded any shots on target. And that is Max and Hyper Coder. <laughs> They're the only ones that have put any shots on target. And I'm not sure exactly what that says. It's just a matter of both teams sort of just ducking out and letting one of their teammates take control of the game. I like to see it. This is an exciting match. Uh, why weren't the Spectre doing this earlier? Well, maybe Max was just the secret kept weapon as Jordan's going to break your analysis. Gets the goal there, one for one on the shot, and puts them back up by two. Um, the Spectre just haven't had as much space, and they're taking advantage of it, I think, here, Mobex. Yeah, I like this this little bit of spunk that we're seeing out of the Sp uh, I almost said Spartans, <laughs> out of the Spectre. Out of the Spectre, this is great, and I've said it a few times already, but, man, this would have been great to see for the last four games. I don't know if... I'm not sure what they've changed. Uh, it really, it just looks like they're more aggressive. They're getting shots on target, and that is really all they had to do. Hopefully they can learn from this experience, take that into the rest of the season, and really just build upon this last game that they're here just dominating. Oh, good pass. Put a good save there from Jordan. You talk about it, you want to see them build on it, but right now that was a chance trying to build on it. They've had a lot of solo plays. Now trying to find the passing play, the counterattack. Maybe one they'll add on here, and they will. Hypercoder can't get there in time. Max getting another goal for his repertoire, four for him, and the Bulls just kind of getting steamrolled in game number five. Yeah, this is definitely not what I was expecting to see. I was expecting to see the Bulls just continue to be dominant, um, but really getting shown up here from the Spectre in this final game, this last stand, um, they need to have the same mentality that they had in this game throughout an entire series. This is just great Rocket League that we're seeing from them, and uh, I really just wish that we would have seen it longer. Oh, it's a great ball from Chaser, but just a little bit too much on it. The ball bouncing, technically threatening for Jordan and the Spectre, but that's how the Spectre ended. They end 4-1, but that one looms large because it was a heck of a showing in Game 5. Yeah, and who knows, down the line, that could be huge for playoff contention. Um, it, really, it can come down to one game, and if you win that game, you're in, and if you don't, you are out. So taking this game is definitely very significant. Uh, may not seem so only two weeks in, but definitely down the line could count. Well, you hate to see it at the end when you get to the playoffs, Mobags, and someone doesn't make it because of one singular game. And you said it, this one could loom large for either of these teams. So the Spectre doing a great job of getting that 1-4 and not falling a 5-0. That is a hard mountain to climb when you're down four big games. Oh, yeah, definitely. When you're down big like that, it's 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 really tough on both sides because as the team that has put up those four wins, it kind of feels hard. It's like, how do you motivate yourself to continue to uh, sort of play and get this final win? And then on the other side of the spectrum, it's what is the point in getting this final win? And we, we talk we talk about the point of it all the time, but in the moment, in that game, in that series, it is hard to contextualize all of the different variables. You're just playing Rocket League, and you are playing poorly up to that point, and finally they were able to get something going, and I'm definitely happy that they were because that's going to be huge for them down the line as they struggled, and then they finally overcame it in that last game. Well, overcoming it in the last game isn't always an important thing. It's not always about how you start. It's about how you finish, and that has been the mantra for a lot of these teams that make those deep playoff runs. But you know what? Mobags, that's only the first game of us tonight, and I think we're going to be back in a couple of minutes after a short break. I'm Foof, and this is Mobags, and we will be here with more MLE Week 2 action in a bit.